In a real crowd, you wouldn't see the same person twice. But in an animated world, where crowds are filled with characters that aren't completely unique, a clone can make you do a double take. At Trinity College in Dublin, researchers are looking at how to make virtual crowds more realistic. In a recent study, they gauged the effectiveness of two tricks used by animators. The first creates more than one character based on the same physical model. Clones may look the same or an animator may choose to vary their clothing. The second method uses a few different walking styles which are applied to many virtual beings. We had uh, roughly 20 participants that came to do our experiments and they were asked to click on the, the clones that they saw on the scene as quickly as possible. So we were really interested in their reaction time as in how quickly they could see the clones in the crowd. Unsurprisingly, clones with the same body type were much easier to detect than those that moved the same way. When motion clones moved out of sync with each other, they were even harder to spot. We also found that um, adding random motion to the characters didn't, um, didn't help disguise clones any better than just playing the motions out of step. So this is also good news for crowd developers that use pre-baked animations. But examining current techniques isn't all this team has been up to. We've created a virtual, uh, city, a virtual Dublin city and we're trying to populate this with crowds um, so that they can be interacted with in real time. The crowds you're seeing were created by motion capturing real people and applying their movements to virtual characters. It's all fun and games for now, but the team plans to put the simulation to practical use. It could be used to model traffic congestion or downloaded to handheld devices to guide people around the city. That's when virtual Dublin and the real world will truly collide.